Hey guys, what's up? And, um, this is Shock, uh, about a couple weeks, not a couple weeks, just a week after the first school update in November. So yeah, this will be the part two of the first half of November, so it's part two out of four, kind of. Okay, so we're gonna resume on uh, where we last left off. So, um, it's gonna get a little bit more complicated, so I'm gonna have to draw, draw something. Okay, so, first of all, I, this is me, okay, I, I have four friends, okay, four friends right now. I'm gonna just represent them in initials, and in fake name initials, so, just in case you don't know, I have L, C, and J right now, okay? And then there are the enemy girls I've always been talking about. So there's L, another L, M. Okay, I'm gonna put like a small thing up there. And then there's another person. G, J, or G, however you want. I'm just gonna represent it J. J1, apparently. So, okay. So here are the females of the story. Okay. So now you know what is going on in the full picture. And then, we have another thing. And uh, we have C, C1, let's say C1, and his girlfriend, P. And P is the girl. And P is the girl who had an amnesia and who was suicidal. So this is me. And um, this, 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 me, this suicidal girl is in is in class a okay we are in grade 10 so classroom a and then in classroom b we have my male friend right here we have um the boy j1 and c1 they're all in b while l is in this enemy girl is in class e and this uh, other girl is in class c okay so um, not so complicated. So last time we talked about how, uh, how in four of my friends, two of them had some conflict. And, um, but it is solved very quickly. And I'm glad that it's solved. And then another small, really, really small conflict kind of happened between us. And uh, I'm starting to think that, um, both me and my friend, my male friend, is kind of being mistreated by my other female friend. I'm going to show you with the drawing. So, as you can see, this this is me and I have four friends, right? And this person, this N person, is a girl and, you know, he's known for her... She's known for her psychotic actions and blah blah blah. And she always pokes fun at me and this boy. And she always hurts us and she sometimes also kind of target this guy so uh she's really being a problem but um yeah I, I i really don't know how to how to really solve that because uh before she treats us really well but right now we're kind of we're kind of being trolled by her all the time okay so let's put that aside what's really been happening and that's really severe and important is that um the suicidal girl lost it again she had she heard more voices and she had more suicidal thoughts and she had been going crazy she's ranting to her boyfriend all the time and it's really a problem so uh yeah so so i have one friend c c for cedric and um the, the suicidal girl's boyfriend and Cedric became really friendly because they're both in the same classroom. So, uh, and, uh, I'm kind of being left out in the situation, you know. But, um, I also kind of heard their conversation and it's about the suicidal girl, P. One day, this boy and my friend right here was taking a bus with me. And uh, they two kind of talked, talked about P, and I heard their conversation, and I was shocked because, you know, because of all the depression and anxiety, and uh, 
I don't know, I can't confirm it, but maybe P also has schizophrenia because of all the voices. And I am really concerned, so I tell these four people to help P get out of the situation. Now, N and J is already P's friends, and right now L sits right next to P. So uh, I'm thinking that this plan might work and help her out of misery. However, I and P is totally like separated and we don't know each other and only these four people have access to P. Uh, yeah, C can help P through through her boyfriend, but me, I don't have any connections. Which leads to the main topic of today's video, which is um basically how how few friends I have, how bad of my social status basically there are there are people in my school right now that has millions and millions of friends exaggeration actually hundreds <laughs> my gosh hundreds and um and um you know and me i i barely know anyone I barely know anyone in D or E class, and C class I only know a couple people, I guess, and they aren't really cl close to me, so I'm basically isolated. Not really isolated, but just separated from these people, and I feel really disconnected with the society, not that I'm cold, alone, or whatever, but I just feel like, you know, I'm so irrelevant. I am so irrelevant in this school, in the society right now. So when something big happens, when some secret is leaked, I will probably be the last person to know it and to hear about it. And that really sucks because no one, because not much people really cares about me or understands where, where am I going to and what am I actually doing and um, I, I feel really irrelevant and uh, given what happened on November 16 I can really confirm that uh, I am I'm I'm kind of despised I'm not like hated or despised but um I'm just kind of left out kind of abandoned uh, I really don't want to be abandoned, but uh, I really don't want to say this, but uh, I really am kind of being left out. So first of all, I and C is really friendly for over the years, but uh, lately C refuses to talk to me, and uh, I'm I'm just assuming that he maybe he's thinking um, annoying or whatever. And and he doesn't want to talk to me. Okay, here comes the crazy part. Okay, for almost two months, I didn't know that N and J still has a friendly connection. Like, we, one, two, th no. Okay, so two years ago, this, me, this, 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 and this are very friendly. We are the six best people in the classroom and um just somehow things happened and this guy left and this girl left and it's just us four with a new guy and uh he is known for being a very slick tricky person who's very complicated and deep inside he is known for being manipulative and really smart and uh, he is also known for having an evil side. Not really known because not much people know that he has uh, an evil side. And um, this girl is fucking psychotic. Fucking nuts. And uh, they have been friends together for a very long time. And they have been having secret appointments. Just two of them. They are having secret, they are having secret appointments for months. And I didn't know about it. And they are probably talking about, you know, people and how to take them down and blah, blah, blah. And um, one thing this guy mentioned, I mean, this guy is a great person. He's smart. He's true. He's deep. He's complicated. And um, he told N that me and J can't join their conversation. 
So he kind of, so in conclusion, he kind of dislikes me and Jay for some reason. And uh, that also adds on to my social burden, which is great. But despite all the people kind of disliking me and thinking I'm annoying because of the things I've done in the past, you know, before all this, I was kind of stupid. I was kind of crazy. I was kind of dumb. And uh, I was kind of immature. And because of that, first impression I have ruined my entire school life technically because now everyone thinks I'm just dumb and crazy and stupid because of my immature past but now I have changed and people does not realize that and uh, it's it's really a pain in the ass for me okay but Putting that aside, we still have the suicidal girl, and we are going to help her. But I really don't know how to help her. So, um, so I kind of want to catch her boyfriend's attention. Now, her boyfriend is also really deep, smart. Really smart, like, in terms of knowledge. He's really, like, good at science. He's really good at English. He speaks with a British accent. It's Hong Kong. And um, he speaks with a really fine... British accent, and, um, yeah, and, uh, I really trying to, I really want to get his attention, but I really don't know how, so, spur of the moment, I have a stupid idea, so, uh, the suicidal girl, one of the reasons why she's depressed is because she just studies too much, she gives so many time in her life just to study, especially for, Chinese because Chinese subject is is really freaking difficult and uh, she, the only way one of the ways to stop her from being this suicidal is just to tell her to stop studying and start having a life literally and um, to catch her boyfriend's attention I wrote stop studying in the 4B classroom with my left hand so no one could recognize my handwriting and he's fucking smart and he knew it was me so one day I was supposed to leave with my C friend but C just walked away and he's probably thinks I'm annoying as fuck I don't know so I ran all the way out of school and I came back to school and uh, her boyfriend showed up and he was walking towards me and he pointed at me you're a disgrace you're a disgrace and I was like what like at that moment I didn't know what he's referring to but I guess he kind of figured that I did something and he was like you're a disgrace I was like what and he's like nothing So if he ever finds out that I'm involved in this helping mission, he would probably be pissed off because he thinks I'm one of those really stupid, dumbass, immature people. I mean, maybe there are still things about me right now that's stupid and immature, but at least I'm not as stupid than I was in the past. Like, I know I still have room for improvement about my personality but I'm not as bad as I was in the past so uh, I hope people realize that I have changed I have became a better person and everyone just fucking hates me right now I mean not really so I don't know I really don't know and um, I think I should really put my social status aside and stop focusing on what people think of me and start really helping people but I really don't know what I can what I can do to help others because I right now I'm just stuck